All right, we're on week seven baby bean experiment, and the materials we're going to be using are um, these little dry beans, which I just do there, dry beans. And I'm actually going to have ones that are soaked for your classes, so you will also have more than just this to be dissecting. These are the little um, containers I have that we're going to have the soap ones in. Um, I also am going to have magnifying glasses. I'll make sure everybody has those. Um, and black laminated paper squares I'm making so that they have something to set the bean on so they can dissect it and see the little parts better. And I'll bring all those in for all the tutors. Um, so first thing is I like to always go through the Bible verse in the top. I just added Genesis 1, 11 to 12 about the seeds and how God produced them. Um, questions, why did God create plants and how do plants reproduce? And then you can go into, oh, and I have a picture, picture A is this one and so this is just kind of how plants reproduce i like to have visuals for my littles because they're like mm, i don't even know what that word means so here's some different ways of how they produce you can point to those and i'll make sure you guys have these pictures also um then we're going to talk about purpose today we're going to dissect a bean first a dry one and the wet one that's soaked overnight we're going to identify parts and learn their function so our research is, oh, and I also have these little cards. I like to hold up as I'm doing it. So this is a question, now we're on research. What do you know about seeds? How do seeds grow? So I have another picture for how seeds grow. And you can say, you know, ask them first and then say, yes, they need air, they need water, they need soil, they need something. Again, this is maybe for more for younger kids, but older kids maybe could benefit from it also. What are the parts of a plant? I also have a cute little picture for that. And flowers, leaves, stem, and we actually are gonna go over that, I think week nine or something like that. But anyways, that's kinda nice to have. And then this is what we get to, and what are the parts of a bean? So that is what we're gonna discuss today. And we will say we were looking at these and discussing them today. And if you want, we just um, did the plant cell song, um, parts of plant cell are nucleus. You can go into that even though you can just say there's parts of the beans that we can't see very well, and that would be the plant cell. Um, so then we are on to hypothesis, and here is our hypothesis, so I just have my little sign. Um, each of you have a bean seed to dissect, what's it going to look like inside? And then also I thought I'm, I'm going to bring in from my class edamame pea pods. I'm going to like open it up and show them and we can eat them, so I thought I'd pass them out kids want them. Um, kind of a precursor to what we're going to do, I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, then we're moving on to our experiment. Um, I'm going to pass up the materials or have a mom pass up the materials. What materials do we have? We'll talk about what we have. We have beans, paper, water, container, magnifying glass. Um, and oh, it's bad. Yeah. Um, look carefully at the bean in front of you. How are you going to describe it? Is it big? What's the shape? Is it hard or soft? And because I like to have my tutor script in a different place, I made a special tutor script for experiment because all these are going to be questions that I'm going to be asking. Um, so first we're going to do the dry seed and we're going to open it and look and it's, you know, talk about the seed coat and how the seed coat is tight and um, it's not loose. So we're talking about the little hilum and how that's the belly button of the seed where it's attached to the parent plant. Um, and then after this part, we're going to lay it aside and we're going to get out the soap beans. So don't distribute the soap beans right away or the kids are going to be like all over everything. Um, so now we're on the soap beans and I'm going to talk about how I've been soaking them for a few days and if they're softer and they will be they'll be larger and the seed coat is going to be easy to slip off so um, just talk about how the seed is sleepy until it has the right environment so when it has water it starts to grow and um, and also um, I'm going to go through the micropile cotyledon and I'm not sure how to say these so I'm going to have to figure that out and do it the appropriate way um, and then I thought we could, the kids could get out there after the experiment is done, and we've talked about it, and it might be helpful to have this up as you're talking about them to be able to see, okay, where are these things? I can't see them on my bean. Okay, look up here. Does, if we look on your beans, that might help too for the visual for them to find it. Um, so I'm going to put all that away, and I'm going to get out their lab journals, and I'm going to have them write in their lab journals as I'm going over the analysis and conclusion. So you can go back to this little script for analysis and conclusion. Basically, it's just... The analysis is, here's my little analysis, um, where are you able to peel the beans and split them? The answer would be yes. And what was growing inside? They'll say a baby plant was. And then our conclusion is, last one, um, beans are seeds and seeds are plants. And just like acorns grow into trees, beans grow into plants. And once the seed's all grown, its roots and leaves will help the plant get its water, nutrients, and energy from the soil and sun. And then I have a, another Bible verse, Genesis 129, and you can say that at the end as we're writing in their journals. So that's all I have. Oh, I forgot I have this. Too. I have also this. If they want to add, do this, I can give this for the older kids. I don't think the younger kids are going to 
be able to figure that out, but it could be a handout that you can give to them. So that's it.